Today I'm talking about how you can determine if a handicapper is real or if they are a scam decapper. Now, there are three ways that you can tell if a handicapper is the real deal, if they are actually good and... So the first way to determine if your handicapper is the real deal is by looking at their team. Do their does their team of employees consist of callers, customer service, or does their team of employees consist of handicappers and people that are doing the research and the line studying? So one way to tell that is if you got somebody calling you up, they most likely got a humongous team of callers trying to sell picks. And that is a telltale sign of they spent a lot of money on the customer acquisition side rather than spending the money on um, making good picks and hiring real sports analytic handicappers that can do the math and understand what the hell is really going on. Those kind of guys are actually hard to find and handicappers, you know, handicapping services that are have that real handicappers behind them, those kind of guys, they're a dime a dozen. And so if they find a gem, they will keep them on their team and they build that service together and maybe they're not actually trying to build the service they're actually really trying to beat the books together but since they do have some great picks a great record they will sell that service so that leads us into the second telltale sign of how you spot a good handicapper and that is if your handicapping service actually makes less money on the service selling side and makes more money on the betting side. Now, how do you know that, right? So it's it's it might be hard to tell, but I'm sure you can tell who spends a lot of money on the marketing side, who tries to tell you that they're doing so well, um, but in reality, they are just making their money on sales of service rather than betting one example is that if you if they don't show you any betting tickets if you don't really see their action then they're probably making all their money on selling you service rather than actually betting and you know there's some guys that say that oh um they know me so i can't place a bet well you know there's other ways there's beards they can put their money through other guys and and make bets that way if they're so good at, at winning so that's not an excuse that is just that's not an excuse for them um, that is just a sales tactic so they're actually winning uh, they're actually making their money on sales of service rather than uh, betting the books now the last thing of how you can tell that somebody is um, a good handicapping service versus someone who's not is actually they are constantly looking for books to take down. They're looking for books to play at because they know they've got the, the magic picks. They know what they're doing. And is it easier to go to a bookie or go to a sports book and make a bet for $20,000 versus trying to sell 20, 20 people, 100 or 20 people, a thousand dollar package you know which one's easier it's easier just to place your bet down if you're actually a good sports better and all you got to do is funnel that money to people that um that can help you make your bets or you know you're always going out there looking for books to play at and so that's one of the problems with professional sports gamblers they've got limited places to play at because they're either banned people don't want to take their action if they know you but you know that's actually where sports betters um, the real professional ones actually try and limit their their wins you know they don't throw down such a big amount 
uh, because they know that if you take out a sports book too quickly, they're going to cut you off. So that is the game that they play. So that and they sell service. Some may sell service. Most don't. But, you know, the reason that they sell service is just to share their knowledge with everyone else. They don't want everyone else to be a loser, you know, and if they could share that and make a little bit of money, that's what they're doing. But the guys who are just making all their money on selling service, these guys are not the ones that you will want to buy picks from. So that's how you tell if you're getting good picks from a solid handicapper versus someone who's just trying to sell you service. So go out there, look for the right handicappers if you need them. Not everybody needs them. I needed them, and I've got me a good team behind me that, that gives me picks. So another way if you guys are looking for picks, you could always go on to PickingDuck.com. You can ch click on the pick list. You'll see who everybody is betting on, and you can find out if they're good because you can click on their name, see their record, see what they bet on, see if they're doing good in football. You can follow them if they have a pending pick. So that's a great way to find free picks if you don't want to pay for picks. And if you really want to determine if someone's good, you can click on their name and you'll find out. So check us out, pickingduck.com. This is Ken. Peace out. Good luck out there.